23 pounds at 24, 25. Last 25 pounds, stay in the buggy, sir. 25 pounds at last 24 pounds, and not enough money to be 24, it's going to be 25, baby. So 24 pounds, and not enough Chris Elliott, so 24 pounds. Number 231, a 1977 Triumph T140D. 1977 was the Queen's 25th year of reign in England. Left the Mike. Silver Jubilee, and it comes from Dale Cycle right up there in God's country. I agree. Long work, sure. West. Six pounds at seven pounds at. Last six pounds at. Seven pounds at. Eight pounds at. Nine pounds at. Ten. Last nine pounds at. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve pounds at. Twelve. Twelve pounds at. Thirteen pounds at. Fourteen pounds at. Fifteen pounds at. Sixteen pounds at. Seventeen pounds at. Eighteen pounds at. Nineteen pounds at. Number 230 in 1965, Triumph T120C. Uh, that was restored by Dale Cycle, complete engine rebuild, painted by Paintworks out of Los Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome everybody. We're very honored that Bambi chose Beacom Auctions to present two of the most sought after and collectible custom bikes in the world. We got Jim Ware here from the Colorado Motorcycle Museum. He'll tell you about these two bikes. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. When these bikes get sold to the next person, they'll probably never leave that person's possession for a long time. Chance of a lifetime. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, Ron. On behalf of the uh, family, Jim and Larry, and the Rocky Mountain Motorcycle Museum, we want to thank everybody that came by to look at the bikes and all the interest from all the different facets of uh, motorcycle people that are here. Uh, I didn't have anybody say, who's in the event? It was great. He was probably the greatest uh, success story in modern American chocolate culture history. Uh, grew up on the streets. Uh, he's a heroin addict bank robber destined to spend his time in prison and he elevated himself to be a successful businessman and an icon in the world of custom motorcycles. Now the chain of mystery, which is this bike here, was uh, his last build. It's a really spectacular meeting of art and machine. Uh, the state of Nevada requires the disclaimer that you may have seen because after the Discovery Show channel, the bike was never titled because it wasn't being written. But I can tell you that this bike was ridden, in Paul Cox's words, hammered hard from New York City to the Carolinas for the bike build-off. And uh, the chain frame and fork, which uh, many said would never hold up, held up beautifully. So it's absolutely roadworthy, and in the state of New York and many other places outside Nevada, uh, the bike can be titled if that's the wishes of the new owner. Uh, the Grease Monkey, this bike here, this is Larry's personal ride. This is being sold with Indian Larry's name still on the original transferable title registration from the state of New York. Uh, he considered this the pinnacle of his bike building career. Uh, it was uh, called the Chouse, that's how he referred to it. It's the best riding, best handling, best accelerating, most comfortable, reliable bike that Larry ever built. His widow, Bambi, would tell you that he had a metaphysical relationship with this motorcycle. It was his other half. And uh, the tool bag on the forks still contains his tool roll, an old ripped up t-shirt, tools, spark plugs, points, condenser, just as Larry left it 15 years ago. Uh, this is the machine that Larry died on. And the buyer of this motorcycle, the new owner, would truly own a piece of Indian Larry's heart and soul. So again, thanks for coming. Appreciate you bidding and long live Indian Larry. That's the piece, ladies and gentlemen. Lot number F, one, one. 1956, Harley Davidson, Indian Larry, Grease Monkey.
Okay, here we go. I am going to be Damn 